I said, girl, why you keep calling? I said, girl, why you keep calling? Yeah, she said, I need a new whip. Yeah, cuz I okay, guys. So, I want to preface this video by saying. If you want to do this at all, you're going to need the Element plugin for Adobe After Effects. If you don't have it, then I'm sorry, but you can't do this. Okay, guys, so the first thing you want to do is you want to take your clip and then drag it into your timeline. It may not appear in the timeline properly. Just drag it to whatever side you need to or cut it so you can get whatever part of the clip you need. And as you can see, I now have my clip orientated properly and I'm happy as to where it is in my timeline. So the first thing you want to do is you want to right click. And then go over to track and stabilize and then track camera and it should say analyzing background step one of two and it's gonna analyze the clip and 3d track it now this might take a while especially if you have a weaker computer and if your cinematic isn't correct then it might not work at all however this step is necessary and you need it to happen in order to do any of this as what I'm about to show you in this tutorial Anyways, guys, I'll catch you later when I'm finished 3D camera tracking. Okay, now that you've finished 3D camera tracking, you should get a bunch of uh, little points on the on the screen. These are points in 3D space, and this will determine where you put your text. Now, there's two things you can do with these points. One is you can highlight them. So you click on a point, and then you drag, and that highlights some multiple mouth points. Or you can do what I personally like doing, which is just clicking on a single point you want. For example, I like this point, I'm going to click on it. Now, this is where we get to actually creating the 3D tracked text. You want to create text. As you can see now, I have text and it sticks to that point. I want to come over, click on the text, position it the way I want. Okay. I'm going to set this as because this is the tutorial now already I think that looks a bit big so I'm, I'm gonna come over here click on this icon and drag this okay as you can see now our text is 3d tracked however that's not what you came here for you came here to make it 3d so that's exactly what we're about to do now I'm gonna pause on a nice frame I like and then I have it set on quarter. You might have it set on third, half, or full. I'm going to set it to full for the sake of this. Now I'm going to do create new solid. We'll call it black solid. Uh, no, actually, no. We'll call it element. Element text. Okay, there you go. Now you want to come over to effects and presets. Now, yours might look a little bit different. It doesn't matter. You should be able to find it. And it, and it will, and you click in, sorry, type in element. Drag it onto the solid. Now, you want to come over. You want to come to custom layers, custom text and masks, path layer one. Set that to your text, which in my case, it says tutorial. Next thing you want to do is you want to come to into custom textures and maps. For this, I'm... Um, layer one i'm gonna do the footage now you want to go to render settings physical environment override override layer and once again you want to do your clip now you want to come to scene setup and click extrude as you can see now we have 3d text however there's some few things we need to do to it before it's truly gonna look good so first thing you want to do is you want to come to environment Click on this little downward arrow icon, and custom layer 1, click OK. Now you want to come to extrusion model, bevel 1, and in order to make it thicker, is you want to just drag it to the side. I think that that is a, actually maybe, no, maybe, maybe a little bit more thicker. That is a good amount of thickness. I'm satisfied with that. I'm nice and thick. Okay. Now you want to come down to basic settings. And you want to set whatever color you want. Uh, for this, I'm going to go with a light blue. You want to click copy. And then paste it. 
to, 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 reflect, to reflectivity and refraction. And these are what truly are going to make your text stand out and seem like it's in the world. Turn that all the way up. Turn that all the way up. As you can see, it's like super reflective and reflect and refracty and very shiny. That's good. That's what we want. Now you can click OK because you're done here. And as you can see, and that is now in the clip. And as you can see, it's being all reflecty and refracty. I'm going to set this back to quarter so my computer can handle it. And we want to come to group one. Particle look. Oh no, sorry, sorry. Uh, particle replicator. And where it says position XYZ, you want to come over to your text, click P, and as you can see, the position will be there. So you just want to, so this, so you just want to copy and paste all of them. So click on that, copy, back to here, and that's position X, and you want to click paste. And then here, copy, paste, and then here, copy paste enter now as you can see the position while close to the text is not really exactly where I want it so you want to come to here position Y for me I want to bring it up okay now it's in a good spot now you can come down here and click on this I and that's gonna go away so now we just have the text I'm gonna set this back to full okay now that we're here we want to come to group one once again, and then we want to do particle look, and then somewhere it should be here. Yeah, multi object. Click enable multi object. Now a bunch of things should pop up. Don't worry, it doesn't matter. It will make a difference. Let's come back to a full view of our text. Now you want to click on this rotation random multi multi. Create a keyframe. You know what, we'll set it to... We'll set it to 90. And I'll put that at the beginning of our clip. And then let's find a good spot. I think maybe right... Not right here. Yeah. And then create another keyframe. Set that to 0. Now your keyframes might get messed up. But in my case, they are normal and they're doing what I want them to. Now, you want to highlight both of the both of the keyframes. Keyframe assistant, easy ease. And now you can do whatever you want in the graph editor for this. I'm just gonna go. And that way it stays nice and rotated most of the clip. Okay. And there are some more things we need to do to make this truly stand out and look good. Okay, now that we've done all the positioning and all of the rotating, I guess, we want to go to render settings. Now we want to go to lighting, add lighting, and you can use any of the lights. Uh, for this, I'm going to go sun, because as you can see, it's out in the sun in the, in the Fortnite clip. <laughs> and we want to go additional lighting to turn off the brightness if it's too dark. You just want to drag it, and I think that's good. And now you want to go to ambient occlusion. Click enable ambient occlusion. As you can see, there's already a difference in our text, but you want to turn up the intensity. As you can see, now it's really kind of popping out and it's really 3D. And so that's enough ambient occlusion. By the way, you can set the color of the shadows. So like, as you can see, it's green or uh, dark blue right there. No, I think I'm gonna set it as black and then You want to go to output Sampling and anti-aliasing Sorry sampling and aliasing and now FXI smoothing you want you want to do a little bit of, not too much Just a little bit and you want to do it until the edges look nice and crisp Okay, now those edges look very nice and crisp. So, we're good. 
and I'll set this to quarter that way and let's let it render and we should as you can see have fully 3d tracked 3d text and now let's play it back for real yes excellent so uh, that's that's basically it that's the tutorial you can make that any color you want any font you want make it say anything you want do basically any cinematic you want and uh, yeah that's that's it so uh, thank you for watching